They sit in the, the hallway and a bench in the hallway at the hospital and he explains to the little girl how her mom went to sleep and she won't ever wake up. And you feel so sorry for him. Here he is the president and he can't save his wife from injuries due to internal bleeding. And that beam keeps coming closer and closer and the music just adds, you know, excitement and, and fright at the same time and he doesn't have much time to spare before he's gonna be cut in half. From the time that it starts until it's over, I cry. And it, I, nothing, no other movie has moved me like that before. I love it. Uh, Malin, Sally Field, is losing it. And she's crying and she's screaming and she's mad and she wants to know why, why? I can jog to Texas and back, but my daughter can't. She never could. And he's saying, the greatest moment of all time in World War and I'm going to be left at it. And he screams out, God will not allow this to happen. I will be allowed to fulfill my destiny. Oh man, that was the crux of the whole movie. And she comes out in her little t-shirt and underpants and realizes he's left. And so she's chasing him down the snowy streets in just her underwear. And all he had done was to go buy her a new diary so they could have a, a new start. He wasn't upset about what she had written. And uh, so then they start kissing and then the movie's over with. <laughs> Climax is with them meeting at the top of the mountain in a big battle scene and blood and guts. And the score is huge in that. I don't know, you can feel just the blood pumping as they're running up the side of this mountain, grabbing trees and rocks and little pieces of anything just to, I don't know. It's just a big romantic scene, but it's very cool. I like when he danced and when he and that girl danced at the end and when the little girl is just pursuing him and he keeps breaking her heart again and again and again. And at the end when he goes to the kind of uppity girl's house and she, you know, kind of rocks him when he's so sad. That was a really great movie. When he finally rounds up all the sheep and they close the gate and everybody in the crowd just goes, <gasps> and the farmer just looks down and says, that'll do pig. And he looks up and he goes, ah. Oh. And all of a sudden his chest lights up and his family comes back and gets him and then everybody's happy. His chest starts glowing. He's going, E.T., phone home, phone home. <laughs>